Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite. Let's crack into another one. All right. So, TNT, I yeah. saw a story that there was a man. He was in Chicago, the Chicago area. How dare he? And so, like, he, he ended up, he was in prison for punching a woman and kicking a cop in the groin. Sounds about right for Chicago. And he, uh, they ended up letting him out for whatever reason, bail or whatever. Six days later, he got arrested again for punching a woman and kicking up in the groin. Did the exact same thing again and got put back into jail. Fair. And I was like, how do you, like... <laughs> it just... I don't know. Like, the, this, the, the not even... There's no other question. How do you dot, how dot, do dot? How do you? Like, um, I'm thinking drugs, probably. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure they had a picture of the dude. He looked he looked like he was disheveled a little bit. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> you know, me and Joe, we've had this conversation before about how how like one decision can just change your entire life, man. It's yeah. like if you punch yeah, we a woman and kick a, you punch a woman and kick a cop once, like there's no going to work the next day. Right. Like it's so easy to it's so easy to like just send your life into the shitter completely <laughs> like you you just like you do one thing and it just the ne the yeah. rest of your life is never the same whether yeah. you're 18 or 80 yeah absolutely and it's like uh and you're trusting other people to not make those types of life altering decisions on a daily basis yeah like any mf or anywhere could just run up and just like stab you yeah. Because they're deciding that today's the day they're ruining their life. Yep. they will be like, nah, you know what? I've added up to here with people that look like Jonas. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm, I'm done. Very sexy men. <laughs> Tired very, of these sexy men out here. <laughs> very sexy men. <laughs> That's what I exude. Very sexy man. It is. Uh, it's insanity, man. And it's like, uh, I, I can see why, why, the, why the community is focusing more on mental health nowadays is because... Like, a lot of these people are just freaking out and just, like, often people. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, I think COVID really did a number on people. I mean, yeah, and that's part of it. COVID had a, a mental health effect on everybody, whether you like to admit it or not. Like, I, I can, I feel the change it had in me, and I felt like I was adapted for it. Yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you were an isolator before COVID yeah. at times. So, like... <laughs> Like, yeah, I mean, you were like, yeah, okay, I just got to hang out by myself and there's no expectation of me to go anywhere. Like, yeah, that's even yeah, better. Yeah, so if, you, if you're going to say is that being locked up for a month didn't change and, and having to isolate yourself from people didn't change the way you thought about situations or way you feel about social interactions, you, you're lying to yourself. And yeah, and, and, and years of that and, and family members not necessarily taking uh, responsibility for their own mental health. And then passing yeah, it on or to the your children. partner or whoever. Yeah, because you, yeah. you pass those bad habits down to your children. I'm definitely a product of some of my of some of my parents, my mothers, you know, for sure. Well, it's it's caused a lot of yeah, a lot of issues of like, yeah, well, even me, I was a super extrovert pre COVID. And like even me now, like when we go out and do things or I go out and I'm around a lot of people, I still am like, this feels weird. Like, and it's why I love being around people. Like I love <laughs> doing things. Like, why does it feel weird? Like it's just it it I didn't notice how much it affected me until like I try to go out and do things and then it feel it's not that I don't want to do it it just feel like when I first get there I feel uncomfortable and then I have to like work through that yeah and then I'm okay it's like but when I first like the first time I went to like a concert like in the last few months I was like I walked in and I was just like uncomfortable <laughs> like I was just like oh my god this is uncomfortable and then like as I like I still didn't like go into the crowd I stayed kind of on the perimeter right so I wasn't super crowded with people but it's still I was just like this is weird like this it, is a it, lot it, of people like it, and yeah it's, it's mainly just because we haven't experienced it very much but yeah it is it is weird it it's is like weird. sensory overload almost yep and, like, and I'm, we're going to the bar tonight I don't even care I'm glad Halloween weekend bar trip. Yeah, yeah but this yes, bar please. limits how many people go in anyway. I mean, but the last time we were there, they were at capacity, and that place yeah. was wall to wall. Yeah, yeah, man. It's it, it'll be all right, man. It'll be good. Yeah. So I don't know. That is why. That is why. How could you, Jonas? 
is because that guy is dealing with drug abuse, mental disorders. Uh, His mom probably doesn't care for him too much. Yeah, yeah probably, there's probably so many traumas on that life, and that doesn't excuse him. I think he should just go to jail and sit down, you know, for as long as it takes. Or as long as the judge decides, but that's uh, that's the answer to the why how. Well, I but, guess. but here, but I guess here's the thing: is like, so when you go to prison, <laughs> should you be mandated to mental health therapy? I thought you know they claim that they do. It's supposed to be re rehabilitation. I think it's there if you need it or are diagnosed, like with like a condition like schizophrenia or bipolar or something like that. Yeah. But I think just for the average guy to be like. Hey, I don't feel too good mentally. I just like to talk to a therapist. I don't know if that is available in jail. Huh. I don't, you know, I honestly don't know, but I, I thought that it was available to the majority of, uh, or it should just be mandated. Like, cause if you're out, okay. I guess it depends on what it is, whether it's mandated or not. <laughs> but yeah, if you're out here doing stuff like causing harm to other people, there's some sort of maladjustment causing harm to other like people. whether that's like you're out you're robbing people you're attacking people you're you're doing things that cause or you're frauding defrauding people like you are you have it something going on there's some maladaptive thought process something because the average normal person is not like hey i'm going to defraud a bunch of people for money like there's something that needs worked <laughs> out i mean if you think about wall street Jones, well, yeah, that's exactly but, what they <laughs> And how many of them MFers probably need therapy, right? Like, <laughs> like because it's it's all ba like all of the, the messed up things we do to other people are based on messed up things that have happened to us most of the time. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, if you can work through that stuff, maybe that would like when you go to prison, if instead of like learning how to be better criminals from other prisoners, <laughs> you are like working on like your mental capacity and what's going on upstairs and who you are as a person. I could maybe see there be a benefit to that. Yeah. Yeah, I do too. I do too. And then, but I'm not gonna lie, Jonas. Defrauding people is like that's the American way. I, yeah, <laughs> you're not wrong. It really is. That's the American way. I can't. I can't be mad on the dude on the street doing it anymore than you can't be at the corporation that is. What was it last night for the World Series? All you had to do was download the Taco Bell app and you can get a free Locos <laughs> yeah, Doritos yeah, Del Taco. It, give, them, give them all of your personal data. Let them track your phone uh -huh. for, for $2. Plus, you got to enter in your, your pin, your card number. Yeah, yeah. So you can get your free $2 taco. So for 2 bucks, man, you're giving them everything. And that's not a grift? That's a goddamn grift. <laughs> <laughs> That's a grift and a half. Oh, we're all so excited. He stole a base in, in, in the World Series. Here's your free, free taco. Just give me your name, number, address, uh, your card number, the CCV number. Kids' names. Yeah. And uh, we're going to track you on your phone. And also, we have this predatory app that we're going to put the on your Google phone. Google Maps history. But here's your free taco. That's a grift. I mean. That's a grift. Facebook I is a mean... grift. Google is a grift. Google is, I mean, yeah, dude, Google's definitely a grift. They're all they, grifts. They, yeah, dude, Facebook, yeah. Amazon they, is a grift. I don't know how, but it is some way. Oh, I'm sure. I mean, they still keep all, they know what we buy, and then they can advertise the proper things. Like, I hate it when I buy something on Amazon, and then I see it in my Google, uh, <laughs> when I'm just, like, Googling something, I'll see it in those ads for, yeah, like, dude, of course. articles and It's stuff. always like, here's your radioactive suit, like that one day we were talking about <laughs> hazmat your suits. radioactive suit. And then they were like. Oh yeah, you want to you want to take this hazmat suit into your life, and you're like, no, I was just joking, and they're like, haha, no jokes in Google. Here it is, give you the prime way to buy it, and you're like, but I don't want one. <laughs> but I don't want that. I just was talking about that in jest. Well, Alexa heard you. She knows everything. No, don't say her name. She's a, she's awake <laughs> in there. <laughs> she's she's like, what what do you need? I would like to cook you breakfast, but I don't have any arms. She's always listening. Why is she listening? Because uh, it's a grift, man. I'm telling you. She's a nosy say? neighbor. Yeah, basically. Yeah, why? I don't know. But anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yep.